Baike breakfast started and three years ago it was part of the vision of the church to reach out um, and we were just as, there was a, a girl that I knew quite a number of years back called Alison and uh, she was a biker and we lost touch with each other and uh, we sent her a Christmas card and then she turned out of the blue on a motorbike so as we was discussing, I noticed uh, bikes going past and I thought it would be good to have a ministry to bikers. Alison at the time uh, had cancer, so it was a, a legacy that she left us with. She, uh, she died shortly after she'd sort of set, set up everything, everything running really. So um, I just wish that she was alive today because uh, you know, it just went on from strength to strength uh, and it was a great encouragement to us all. Um, just um, a, a, a great witness and a great opportunity for CMA um, to um, just be real and to be relevant uh, and to uh, gain friendships and earn the right to speak and talk about Christ. When we decided to proceed with the idea, I approached them and I announced it that this is what we're trying to do as a church and if anyone felt wanting to get involved, they're most welcome. And we had volunteers and they've been with us ever since day one and uh, we've grown to be a good team. Chris organised it and, and asked us for volunteers, you know, to come and help in the kitchen, which I thought it was only for a short spell, but I've been here ever since the start of it. When people come and ask for prayer uh, or, you know, we get some positive feedback from something we're doing, it's, it's one thing to just provide somebody with a breakfast, but it's, it's another thing to actually see some real Christian progress in people's lives, and that's what, what we're looking for, a challenge. Well, it was just something different originally, and now it, it's just great. It's meeting all these different people and sometimes getting a, a chance to tell them about the love of Jesus. Well, we have those who have been uh, ex-army personnel, um, drug addicts, alcoholics, homeless, that have come to know Christ and I've been transformed and they share their testimonies. It was because of things like this that I got saved and it's my way of paying it back. It's by coming up here, I come up here every biker breakfast, biker bibles are in there in case anybody wants one and we'll talk to them about anything and everything. We live in a modern society so why shouldn't the church hold a biker breakfast? Oh it's an excellent thing hosting biker breakfasts and uh, promoting themselves in other ways. They've got to, you've got to move with the community and with the times. I've been coming here for approximately two years. Uh, lovely people, very friendly. I think it's good. I, I mean, I, I'm not a church goer, but uh, you know, I, I think it's good that it is supported by the church. This is the way forward, actually, for the church as well, uh, and it's great to work in partnership with this church. And, um, and see, see growth through that. So to support, support the church and to, you know, to support CMA and to support all the local bikers who turn up, it's, um, it's great. Nuts, bolts, nitty gritty, get your hands dirty and, and dive in. Yeah.